Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, today is the fourth Sunday of Easter. This Sunday is known as Good Shepherd Sunday. On this Sunday, in a very special way, we are called to pray for vocation to priestly, priestly vocations, pray for priests, deacons, people who are consecrated to life. When I celebrate this Eucharist today, I am very much touched. Today, when I came to the church, I see many photos and pictures of our own parishioners in the pews. And they written here, we miss you, Father Saju. I'm deeply touched. Uh, I pray for each one of you. In order to participate in this mystery smoothly, let us call to mind our sins and failures and ask the Lord to be with us and forgive us and be merciful to us.
Almighty ever living God, lead us to a share in the joys of heaven, so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the day of Pentecost had come, Peter, standing with the Lord, raised his voice and addressed the crowd. Let the entire house of Israel know with certainty that God has made him both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now, when the people heard this, they were cut to heart and said to Peter and to the other apostles, Brothers, what should we do? Peter said to them, Repent, and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ, so that your sins may be forgiven, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is for you, for your children, and for all who are far away, everyone whom the Lord our God calls to him. And he testified with many other arguments and exhorted them, saying, Save yourselves from this corrupt generation. So those who welcomed his message were baptized, and that day were added about three thousand souls. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
When he was abused, he did not return to abuse. When he suffered, he did not threaten. But he entrusted himself to the one who judges justly. Christ himself bore our sins in his body on the cross, so that free from sins, we might live for righteousness. By his wounds, you have been healed. For you were going astray like sheep, but now you have returned to the shepherd and guardian of your souls. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to you, God. God. Jesus said, Very truly I tell you, anyone who does not enter the sheepfold by the gate, but climbs in another way, is a thief and a bandit. The one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper offers the gate for him. And the chief hear his voice. He calls his own sheep by nature, by name, and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes ahead of them, and the sheep follow him, because they know his voice. They will not follow a stranger, but they will run from him, because they do not know the voice of strangers. Jesus used this figure of speech with them, but they did not understand what he was saying to them. So again Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and bandits. But the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate who enters by me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pastures. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, the Jews had a lovely legend to explain why God chose Moses to be the leader of his people. When Moses was feeding the sheep of his father-in-law in the wilderness, a young lamb ran away. Moses followed it until it reached a valley where it found a well to drink from it. When Moses got up to it, he said, I will not know 
that you ran away because you were thirsty. Now you must be weary. He took the lamb on his shoulders and carried it behind him. Then God said, Because you have shown pity in leading by one of, one of a flock belonging to another man, you shall lead my flock beside him. The most beautiful and meaningful comment on the life and legacy of our Holy Father, Pope Saint John Paul II, was made by the famous tele-evangelist Billy Graham. In a TV interview, he said he lived like his master, the Good Shepherd. He died like his master, the Good Shepherd. In today's Gospel, Jesus claims that he is the Good Shepherd and then explains what he does for his sheep. Fourth Sunday of Easter is generally termed as a Good Shepherd Sunday in our New Catholic liturgical calendar. In recent times, this day has also become known as Vocation Sunday, a day on which prayers should be said for vocations to priesthood and religious life. The image of God as shepherd of his people has a long tradition in the history of God's people. The image of the Good Shepherd is one which appears several times in the New Testament. It is one that could be immediately understood by the people of the time. In the Gospel of John, Jesus calls himself as the Good Shepherd and promises to take care of the sheep entrusted to his care. We have the popular image of Jesus, the Good Shepherd, carrying a sheep over his shoulders. Or we have a smiling Jesus sitting under a tree with a little lamb on his lap. This image of the shepherd appeals to us because it shows the tenderness of Jesus and his compassion, his care. A shepherd in those days walked among of the sheep, seeking out a safe path, taking them to the pastures, water and shelter. The sheep followed him because they recognized his voice. They recognized his voice and trusted the shepherd. An image of Jesus as the shepherd is reassuring us that he is always of support in our journey through life. When we encounter difficulties in our life's path and face serious problems, the, pres the presence of Jesus, the accompaniment of Jesus, the Good Shepherd, reassures us that we are not abandoned, that Jesus is supporting us and holding us up. At this moment, I can see the pictures, the photos of all our parish, most of our parishioners. This is a difficult time. This is a time of trial. This time we need to be assured that the Good Shepherd, Jesus, is with us and accompanying us. The Psalm number 23, the Lord is my shepherd, assures us that the Good Shepherd will lead his, his sheep in green pastures, will give repose and it will not want anything because he, the Good Shepherd, is always there to comfort us, to be with us. Brothers and sisters, this Good Shepherd Sunday, let us pray for more vocation to priestly and religious life. Let us know our Holy Father of Francis, all the priests and bishops.
Jesus and all those consecrated people that they may not more sinners in their vocation. And as I said in the introduction of the Mass, everyone who is entrusted with care of others is a shepherd. Pastors, parents, teachers, doctors, nurses, government officials, caregivers, among others are all good shepherds. We become good shepherds by loving those, those who are entrusted to us, praying for them, spending our time and talents and blessing for their welfare, guarding them from physical and spiritual dangers. At this difficult time, how much more we need to be shepherds of others, taking tender care and supporting one another. Through prayer, through our hands, we reach out to our brothers and sisters. Just like Jesus, our good shepherd, taught us, he went after the one that is lost, and he accompanies all of us at all times. We thank him for his accompaniment, for his presence, for, for his care. May all of us be strengthened by his blood, by his presence, by his love. Amen. May we stand please and we profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into heaven. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and he seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life of lasting. Amen. Let us bring to the Lord all our prayers and petitions for all who hold positions of authority in the church, called to order their leadership on that of the children, we pray to the Lord. That the decisions and actions of political leaders may reflect God's wisdom and justice, we pray to the Lord. For those who struggle to resist peer pressures and stand up for their convictions, we pray to the Lord. For us, God's holy people, striving to live out the challenges of our vocation, we pray to the Lord. Brothers and sisters, with these prayers and petitions, we pray to the Lord all the prayers that are in our hearts. We pray for our end of this pandemic, that our people may come back here and may worship with the Lord. And all those who have died, they may have eternal rest. And all those who mourn the loss of their loved ones be comforted by the presence of the Good Shepherd. Lord, very special way we pray for more occasion to priestly and religious life that more men and women may offer to the prompting of the Spirit, recognize their call and follow Jesus, the Good Shepherd. Many hearts, you know, many prayers that are in our hearts we listen to the Lord. Heavenly and loving Father, we thank you and praise you this day that you are our shepherd, you are our leader and guide and coach. May all of us come to you in all, of, all, all the times of our life with surrender to meet you, your guidance and your inspirations. This prayer we make to Christ our Lord. Amen. Oh, yeah. 
look upon your poor, kind shepherd, and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures. The sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. A very special thank you to Alan and Guru for coming and praying with us and singing for continuing to bless you for us. Brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. With your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace and love the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you. church I was so surprised the pews are filled with the pictures of our brothers and sisters our parishioners it was really a surprise for me and it made me to cry that I don't see you personally but even your pictures your photos you are looking so good so cute I thank you especially Kathy and uh, Joe Lukaise for making it happen and I pray for each one of you. May God continue to bless you, keep you. I love you all. <laughs> 